Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we are talking about Adidas Samba shoes. And as you can see, I'm lucky enough to actually score two pairs of them. But as you can tell from my title, I think I'm having second thoughts after I got them. I kind of feel bad because these are kind of hard to come by. But um, so I feel like they're becoming more readily available in Canada, at least where I am. I They were launched on Aritzia website and then I was able to score them just from online. So um, I initially wanted the, the white one and then if I saw the black one available, so I'm like, okay, I should like get them. And then the day later, um, I got the white one in the exact same size. I was really lucky. And, um, but once I received them, so I got the black one first, which I thought, okay, they're, they're maybe okay, but I feel like I will probably prefer the white one. And I received the white one today and I still was a little underwhelmed after I opened them. So when I first unboxed, I mean, I feel like it's definitely uh, not quite worth the money. I mean, I've been buying quite a bit of luxury shoes and, and just regular sneakers the last uh, year or two. And I just feel like for the price itself, I kind of expected a little bit more. It is light and it does fit well. Like uh, my feet are fairly narrow in general. So I'm quite forgiving with any shoes. Like I, I, I generally find easy to break into new shoes and I feel like most shoes are comfortable to me. But I find these ones have a very thin sole. So as you can tell, like, and it's not very bentable. It's not very like cushioned. Um, that's one of the issues. And also, obviously, you can tell it is a fairly narrow kind of fit. Um, and in terms of the look, I mean, it is very, it is, you know, uh, from like a soccer shoe uh, design. So it does really feel like, you know, you're, you're wearing a soccer shoe. So I feel like as much as I love this trend and, I, you know, I, I admire all the Instagrammer and, and people wearing these shoes and they look great on them. Uh, for, for me, because I am not very tall, I am 160 centimeter and that's about 5'3". I put on a little bit of weight after my second kid, so I'm not very slim either. I don't have like long legs, which I find it narrows down how I could style these. So, I mean, like to me, I probably wouldn't wear these with a mini skirt. I would go for my um, Prada loafers because there there is a bit of a platform. It gives me a little bit more height. Um, so, I mean, the only way I probably would wear these is with uh, the long skirt, um, long denim skirt, which is fine. It's kind of like the look that people are going for right now. Um, but I just feel like I don't like to overthink uh, about these shoes when I have to style them. For example, when I wear my white Converse shoes, like Converse sneakers, they're plain, they're white. They go fairly well with almost like any kind of casual um, casual outfit that I wear but I do feel like these ones if I'm not um, kind of putting time and thought into what I wanted to wear that day I probably would not reach for them so I feel like that might be an issue for me um, just for a sneaker a pair of sneaker of this price point um, so and also if you really look at these like I said I was just a little underwhelmed when I opened them um, they're kind of light, they're not, it doesn't give you a lot of wow factors. They are meant to be designed as a um, kind of a casual looking type of shoe, which I, I get. But I just, overall, it doesn't kind of, I don't know. I think it's just, I, I have to say, I don't feel like it's not, it's suitable for everybody. Um, so that's kind of my own own uh, thoughts on it even though like all the bloggers and instagrammer that i personally love do currently own those shoes and wear them seem to be wearing them regularly so i'm definitely still on the fence about what to do i think between the two i definitely can see myself wearing the white ones a little bit more um but the black ones are also really really gorgeous like anyways you guys know if you're if you're you are also researching and debating between the shoes. You probably see a hundred pictures of these ones circulating online. I think, I guess the bottom line is if I didn't see those pictures and I just see them sitting on the shelf in the store, I probably would not be going for these shoes. Um, like I said, it's for the reasons I've mentioned. I feel like there's not as much give 
for as much uh, kind of value for the, I don't know if it's worthwhile for that price point. And also the fact that it's just so thin and it doesn't give you a lot of like height. In terms of sizing though, if that's the, the part you guys are wondering, I am usually a 35 and a half or 36. These ones, I got them both in five and they fit really comfortably. So I do feel like you can slide in and out fairly easy once you adjust the shoelace and everything. I feel like that's a pro on this shoe. Like at least for me, I have a pretty narrow feet. So I feel like for me going in and out is pretty easy. I have seen online a lot of people complain that they do have to break it and especially the back piece does seem to rub uh, on the ankle part and has caused some blizzard like that's just what I've researched um, I have it's, this is again not a not a full review or anything like that it's more of a first impression because I've not had a chance to actually wear them I'm actually still debating whether I would like to keep them I think just because it is a trend like for me I do I think I've admitted regularly on my channel that I do get influenced by um, uh, what I see on Instagram quite a bit so these ones obviously has came up uh, like over and over but I think the part that triggered me to actually want to make the purchase is because they are kind of hard to come by so you guys know I'm like kind of an addict to those things like that's hard to come by I also went ahead and bought a bunch of H&M Muggler I'm like late to the game now but Muggler collection pieces so I just feel like those that's kind of my pastime a little bit right now and then that's definitely Part of the reasons why I was hunting for these. Now I actually have them in my hand and try them on. I'm at a point where I'm kind of debating whether um, whether I should keep them or not. Um, I've seen many different type of styles that how, how people style with these. They seem to be going like easy to go with a lot of looks. But if you look at careful at those Instagrammers, most of them do have like very long legs and you know overall very slim look um generally have a very casual style you know sweater white leg pants and things like that which is what i'm into personally myself as well um but i don't know when i first put on earlier today when i was wearing an outfit that i thought would look good with it i didn't really like what i saw so anyways uh, my two cents on on these shoes as a first impression I'm not a huge like this channel is not about sneakers or anything like that but I do feel like for the price point and I've purchased like Vija sneakers or like you know Converse I bought quite a few Converse which I always love I mean again those are generally like lower price point as well um yeah I just feel like mm, not sure if these are like do I just keep them because of trend am I gonna regret if I if I if I sell uh, return them or sell them and not be able to get one down the road maybe I don't know but like I said my very like real first reaction when I unbox these shoes is the fact that you know eh, they're not they didn't exceed my expectations but if you are looking for them and if you are eager to get them uh, a retail website is where I've got them they seem to have a restock towards um, the evening time and do also check out your nearby stores. I think there's uh, also sometimes just call them and ask for your size. But try the website, try to click on the sizings, play with it. The system is a bit glitchy, glitchy but um, I think if you stock hard enough, you can probably come by a size that you can fit into. So that's all for today. And um, I hope you guys do think about it more carefully and don't feel bad. If you can't score one, because I'm sure, you know, another trend will come by very soon, like soon enough. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.